Jeffrey encourages you to be weak. That's so strange. He's one of your friends and so he should want you to be stronger and more productive and more successful. So why is he convincing you to smoke more weed? Why is he convincing you to play more video games and eat that junk food? That's because he's a shitty low quality friend. Adonis. Adonis is the most encouraging man that you will meet. He wants better for you. He wants to see you living to your potential. Why? Because Adonis is the tribe leader and the tribe is stronger when we are all stronger. After you've been on self-improvement for a while and especially when you've been leveling up the, the masculine parts, like the masculinity pillar of self-improvement, holistic self-improvement, you'll begin to meet more high quality men, high value men, and you'll start to befriend them and have really good experiences with them and start considering like, I feel like I've got brotherhood right now. I've just experienced this in the last like couple of weeks. I feel like I have like a total sense of brotherhood. I've got close male friends who I respect, who I look up to, who feel the same way about me and we feel like we're uniting together for all of us to grow. It's, it's a beautiful experience. I've spoke recently about my new friends in like previous, some recent previous videos that you can have a look at. There's a dynamic that you need to just keep in mind because it is your responsibility to make sure that your brothers do not stay weak. It is your responsibility to influence the men in your life and to encourage them to get stronger. Most people won't do this. Most average guys will be in a friendship group. They'll know that, you know, a couple of their friends are living like Jeffries. They're, they're going out drinking all the time and they're playing video games and they're fapping, watching porn and all this like low quality degenerate shit. And they won't say anything because it's just normal. We can't live like that anymore. We expect better from ourselves and we expect better from the men around us because you have to know the people who are in your life will control and dictate your success, happiness, your well-being, your future, probably as much, if not even more than you yourself. Let me say that again and really take this seriously. The people in your life will dictate your future probably as much, if not even more as you will yourself. That quote, you are the average of the five people you spend time with, that is so, so true. And for that reason, it is your responsibility to have high standards and make sure your friends exceed those standards. That book that I've mentioned so much recently, The Way of the Superior Man by David Dieter, it has a chapter that's titled, Enjoy Your Friends' Criticism. It says that masculinity, especially brotherhood, male friends, is all about criticizing, but not in like an asshole Jeffrey way, but more in a loving, sort of supportive, encouraging way, your friends, so that you can sort of like see their weaknesses and help them grow. My friend Sam is in the villa. If he's in like a little bitch mood, as he often does get, he, he's got like this sort of complaining mood, like this weak mood that he sometimes gets into. I call him out on it. The first few times I did it, he was pissed off. He was more upset. He was upset with me. He was sensitive and everything. Now, every time he's like, oh yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. I didn't even realize. Growth, like so much growth comes when you have close male friends who are looking out for you, who set like high standards for you and hold you to your potential. You'd love that, wouldn't you? You'd love to have like the high value successful guy who's sort of holding you to a high standard, wouldn't you? You'd love to have that friend become him. Stop waiting for someone else to do these things for you. Stop waiting for that like high value, fun guy to you know, be friends with you and invite you to do something fun. Become that guy yourself. Become the encouraging, supportive, masculine friend. Expect better from your friends. Call them out when they're being weak, but in like more of a loving, supportive way. Tell them you can do better than that. One of the very like harsh, hurtful, but effective ways that you can bring this up when you see your friends being weak is to just mention respect. You see your friend just fucking up somehow. And you know, you've tried to help him. You've tried to get him into the gym or to stop drinking or whatever. And you tried to help him. It's not so much working. Look him into the eyes and just tell him the truth because it is the truth. I lost respect for you. There is no man who can feel comfortable when he hears those words. I lost respect for you. There's a few times I've said that to some of my friends and I've seen them do like a 180 in their life. I've lost respect for you. Don't throw that out like whimsically. But there's times when it is the truth, it's authentic for you to say that because that's how you feel. We cannot allow our brothers, the men that we're trying to grow with, to stay weak. Because if they're here and you're here and you're making great progress and they're just staying weak, they're maybe even getting worse. Well, remember, you're the average of the five people that you spend time with. So whilst you're improving, actually what's happening is that you're staying around here too. But if we encourage our brothers to level up with us and we support them and we really, really focus on their growth too, we grow up together. Why do you think I make these videos? I was already financially free. I was already like semi-retired at age 24. 
YouTube makes a lot of money, especially with the level of engagement that this channel gets. I was already like f financially free. I was semi-retired. I literally had to work for about an hour a week for six months, but then I started working again, even though I technically didn't. Like I don't need to work for money. So why do you think I make these videos on a grand scale trying to encourage men to become stronger? Because I want more brothers. I literally want more friends. I want to make sure that when I start meeting more and more men, like just throughout the world, I travel a lot. I like. I know this sounds like just far fetched. I literally travel so often that there's there is a chance that you and I meet. And I'm hoping. I am hoping that you are not a Jeffrey. I am hoping that you have made such great progress to becoming more like Adonis. That you've been meditating for a while. So when you and I have a conversation, you will be present for it. I'm hoping that you've been gratitude journaling. So you will feel a sense of like gratitude, like gratefulness for me. And that's like, that's an awesome feeling. Maybe it's like arrogance or self entitlement or whatever, like egotistical, like shit that some Jeffrey could say about me. But like, I'd love for like men around the world to feel grateful for me. I'd love that. Hopefully you've been leveling up your discipline. Hopefully you've been like pursuing entrepreneurship and making money and you've become successful. And there's like, there's so much we could teach each other. Hopefully you could teach me some things. Cause that, that's not to sound like a dick, but that's a bit more of a, on the rare occasion for me to meet someone. And I'm like, oh shit, like they're actually better than me in this thing. They're, and they're teaching me so much as well. And I can teach them about business. I can teach them about growing an audience. And suddenly we're just stronger and stronger together. And that's a fucking beautiful experience. I make these videos because I want men to rise up together. You see the title of this video, do not allow your brothers to stay weak. Don't you see what I'm doing? I'm living out the title of this video right now. I want as many strong, like-minded men as possible around the world. Because the world's not that big. We are growing something very, very interesting here. Honestly, very interesting. There's a lot of like YouTube channels and social media pages and celebrities who have got like an audience, you know, a really active audience who like them. There's, that's quite common. But to have like a community, a cult, a brotherhood of young men who are literally doing the same kind of daily practices. Like we're kind of like starting, like this This isn't meant to be blasphemous, just as an example. It's kind of like we're almost starting our own religion. The beautiful part of this is like, it's, it's applicable to any man who wants to improve. With the current religion, there's a lot of people who are religious and there's nothing but respect for that. But then there's a level of like, oh, but this guy's Christian and this guy's Muslim and this guy's atheist. And you know, oh, like there's a sense of like rivalry sometimes between the religio religions and some religions are intolerant of other people. And there's, there's a bunch, bunch of like, m like mess, like, like friction there. But with what you see in front of you, it is literally just guys who are on self-improvement. It's just guys who just want to improve themselves and just want to lower our risk of mental health problems and like self-harm and suicide and it's guys who just want to be more disciplined more strong and just make more more friends and live better lives it's men who want to be more like adonis that's very very powerful it would be amazing to see all of us grow together to see us all rise up and that's exactly what's been happening. That's literally, when you think about it now, if you visualize like the impact of this movement so far, and my sort of visualization is gonna be like a lot better, like more than yours, because like I've seen it on different sides. I've done meetups, so I post on Instagram, like, oh, I'm in this city, come and meet me. I do meetups, so I'll be on Instagram and when I'm traveling, and I'll say like, okay, I'm in this city, come and meet me tomorrow. 50 guys will show up. And when I, like, when I visualize the men who are showing up and literally everyone fucking meditates, you don't realize how good that feels. Imagine 50 guys show up and we all hit a workout in the park. That's what happened when I went to Amsterdam. I brought my gymnastic rings, like 50 fucking guys just hitting a workout together, hopping on the rings. There's a bunch of guys who had never used the rings before. Like my friend Sam never used them. So we literally like fucking picked him up, put him on the rings and everyone's like shouting, encouraging him and everything. People coming up to me, like showing me like the journal pages, showing me books and asking me to sign. Talking to each other, like a bunch of the guys who were at the Amsterdam meetup organized themselves without me, organized themselves a big ass camping trip, like 15 guys. And there was a bit where they were, they were almost doing like show and tell where they were like just sat there eating snacks and one by one they were going up and like doing like handstands and stuff together and they went camping like they met through our meetup and then they went camping together like made a big bonfire that is what this movement is all about it's about brotherhood it's about becoming stronger together there's there's so many different ideas that you could implement i would love to see it I would love to hear more about this and like, if you were able to like make friends with guys in this movement, maybe by like the comments below or that we have the Discord server, like this isn't me like shilling it bro, I'll be totally honest. I don't really use the Discord, so I'll be just totally honest. Every now and then I'll go in on like one of the video calls, like spontaneously, so you might not even catch me, but I just go on like the video calls and literally just sit there for like an hour and just speak to people who come in and out. But this isn't me like shilling you the Discord, but it's like, it is a very, very valuable asset. Very valuable. It's got 50, 60, 70,000 and young men who are on it all over the world and there's going to be people who are in your city literally who have the exact same interests as you 
there's probably a couple of guys who are on the Discord server who go to the same gym as you, literally. And they have so much in common. Like we have the exact same mindset. You don't realize like I lived the solo life for a while. Trust me when I say that. I lived that solo monk mode, that life of solitude. I went back home. So I, I lived in Manchester, UK, in like a big city in United Kingdom. I lived there. I moved back home to my family's home. And I literally had one friend that I would only ever meet when we would work out together for one and a half years. I lived that solo life. Now I'm living the exact opposite life. I've got like a, a few like best friends that I see almost every single day. I can't even explain how much better it is now. I had to do the period of solitude. I had to. Maybe you do. Maybe you're watching this right now. And, and whilst this sounds amazing, you do feel like you need to just be alone and focus right now. I totally understand. Some, sometimes you need to be in that, like, that state of life, that period. But if you're getting like excited by, by the words that I'm talking about, and I'm, you know, you're, you're getting hyped up thinking, wait, what if I had a fucking guy to like go to the gym with? And me and this guy were like cold approaching girls and we were going shopping and we were like meditating together and fucking showing each other our journals and shit. And like, if that's hyping you up, you need to take some fucking action into this and, and create that into a reality. And then when you do find it, which you will, it's not as hard as you think it is to make friends. It's just because we don't even take action into it. Like all, all like the guys who have similar mindsets to you, similar hobbies, they're all in the comments. They're all in the Discord server. They come into my meetups. That's where you make friends. It's, it's not as difficult as it seems to, to come out of loneliness. It's just because we stay stuck there because of like Jeffrey activities. And it's just kind of like a bit uncomfortable to start making the first few moves. We would love this like successful, fun guy to come up to you and invite you to do something like camping. Obviously, oh, he could be a rapist, but shut the fuck up, right? To, to invite you to a workout. We would love a guy to just come over with such similar interests as you to invite you to a workout or to like, you know, come to, uh, come to the pool and let's, do, let's learn how to front flip. You have to become that guy. The greatest piece of social skills advice that I've ever given out. So the, the best advice in terms of making friends that I've ever said is become the initiator. Don't wait for that guy to invite you to do the fun. You become the guy who invites other people. Become the guy who invites other people to do some of the activities that we do here. If there's one thing that would make me most proud of myself and the work that I've done here, it's seeing stuff like that. Like seeing you improve, fantastic. Seeing other guys improve, fantastic. Seeing myself improve and the channel grow and the movement grow, that's it's beautiful. But if I could see more like mini movements, I've always said from the start, if you've watched a bunch of my older videos, you know how much I used to mention this. The, the whole point of this cult, this brotherhood, was that you are now in like this big community. If you make your own small micro community inside of it, if you have like an Amsterdam group chat, and you're all literally meeting up to go hit this workout. You're meeting up in the park and sunning your balls together. Bro, fucking hell. I obviously don't sun your balls together unless you're like really close, but that would make me the most proud of all. I would love to see more of that happen in my cult. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.